I'm asking. <laughs> Welcome to the zone, second day of Sweet Sugar Send Off. Ah! Where's the wisdom? What am I doing? I can't believe I'm leaving. You're going to Hollywood to be a big star. I know, and so I am excited wants. about it. It's just hard because I'm going to miss everybody so much, and I can't believe I'm not going to be on the zone anymore. Crazy. Well, the zone is going to be in your heart forever and always. Forever. And also, it's on YTV.com, so you can always check in with us. Oh, I will be. I'll for be example, on the if you say miss the Thumb Wrestling Federation on a Friday, you can watch it on the website YTV.com. This Friday is going to be a new Thumb Wrestling Federation battle. It's a good team versus I'm out. Ouch. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. So that's this Friday at six. Friday being my last day here in the zone. Single tears. People have just been popping out of nowhere to say goodbye to me yesterday. Good the story. perfect example. Look at what happened after we finished the show. All right, bye guys. Bye Thanks guys. for tuning in today. Thanks. Oh, I can't believe this is getting so much closer to my I last day. I know. Mm. Well, you know what? It's good. It's a good thing. You're yeah, moving on good. and up and all that. I know. Let's this up for you. Wait, was that the doorbell? Yeah. Oh, what okay. is that? Hey. Hey, yeah. John. What's up, man? Good to see you. How are you? George, what's going what's on? Up, what's, what's up? up? What's up? What's up? Good to see you. Just, Where are you? We just finished the show. Yeah. No way. Yeah. All I want to just come and say goodbye. I heard that you were leaving, and I watched the show as a kid, and so I just want to say goodbye. Oh, uh -huh. that is so sweet, Tearing. That is so <laughs> sweet of you. Thank you for coming by. That's no so problem. nice. No problem. Nice guy, that George. George R&B Canadian sensation. Yeah, it was pretty cool that he mm -hmm. came by. Mm -hmm. What's happening, everybody? Look, it's one of my favorite guests of all time, Josh oh. from Reptilia, hanging out. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in for my send-off. This is amazing. We had to do it. There was yeah. no other... Their option. Well, I have so many <laughs> little friends at Reptilia, like these guys here. Will you introduce these guys? Here? Yes. First of all, in your hand, you have Gollum, and Gollum mm -hmm. is a crested gecko. How cute he is. It's a great little uh, lizard. He can climb straight up vertical surfaces and even across the ceiling if he wants to. And he's so soft. Yeah. You have no idea. He feels like, like, a, like velvet. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like I'm going to ask you a question, though. Look at his eyes. Yeah. He never blinks, but he's got to clean them. Do you know how he cleans his eyes? Licks his them. tongue. Carlos has got it, the yeah. man. That's what That's I do, right. too. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen that. It freaked me out, Carlos. Yeah, Please know, don't do it now. Sorry. And who's this? This is a monkey-tailed skink. We actually don't have a name for this one. Um, sugar. But, uh, it's a boy. Sugar's <laughs> a dog. An interesting name for a boy, but maybe we will call it sugar. Um, and this lizard is uh, pretty amazing for many reasons. One of the neat things about him is his tail. He actually uses it to climb. And if we watch when he's hanging upside down, he can actually just bring his body. If he wants to. If he wants to. <laughs> so just hanging out and doing the old this is good. I like it. Nah, I've had enough of that. Oh, he's so Look at that abdominal work. That's right. Mm. He's very fit. Can we call him Mowgli? Mowgli's Mowgli, not like bad. The jungle kid. That's what good too. Because it's a boy. We're going to have a naming it's contest a I don't mind if he's a boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, this one here eats insects, uh, also sometimes uh, fruit and nectar from, from flowers. Mm -hmm. And this one here is strictly vegetarian, eats different types of uh, plants and Leaves. It doesn't grow in a tree, forget about it. That's right, that's what he says. But he lives in trees too, right? Which mm -hmm. is very cool. That's, I, I think that's amazing because you were saying before that um, they don't lay eggs, they actually give birth to. That's right, like most a whole people animal. think that all reptiles lay eggs, but uh, this is an example of a lizard that actually is born live. And so this lizard actually, he's three years old, and when he was born, he was born live, fully formed. And uh, even in the wild, they will stay with their parents for two or three years, and oh, the parents wow. will protect them. <laughs> That's, That's cool. unusual for a reptile, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, well, we're going to have more reptiles coming up. We've got some big snakes coming in here. Don't go anywhere. What's going on, everybody? Welcome <laughs> back to The Zone. Snake Josh it. from Reptilia <laughs> is with us once again, and we hey, have baby, some new snake friends right here. You we just it. came out of Prank Patrol, which yes. was Shun's pick for the day. Yep, my pick for the day. Prank Patrol is such a huge show. I know how much you guys love it, so I wanted to have it in The Zone for once. Hope you enjoyed. So, Josh, are snakes that we have here names? Uh, don't have a name for either of these guys. You got yeah. like completely so blank. I, that's, this is terrible. Head. That's three this animals terrible. without names. This, right well, we have one. we have Kellogg the corn snake. Oh, ah, that's cute. Nice. This is a children's python or spotted python from Australia. Oh, wow. So if you so. can't get a, a big python, get a children's python. <laughs> That's right. Python for kids. Pythons for kids, yeah. yeah. Now, Josh, I wanted you to come for my send-off week because we've known each other for so long. Yes. Just forever. And Quite I thought that it would be fun to take a look back at some of our old footage. you want to see? Oh, I'm okay. not sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> So we're I've trying to get him to eat these silkworms here. Yeah, that's right. These are silkworms. He's looking. He's looking. 
come on. Come on. He's got to get both of his eyes kind of focused. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, he's thinking. Do it. He's thinking about it. <gasps> so he's looking. What, what happens when he's Open thinking? up, big fella. Oh, here Watch the tongue. Here we go. Whoa. Bam. Whoa. Oh. That's tasty. That's awesome. All right, Carlos, you go ahead and you wow. do it. Wow. Still so impressive. My favorite part of the silkworms being like, yeah, what's happening? Yeah, they definitely don't know what's coming. They're <laughs> no idea. Just, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for bringing all these guys in today, and we still have so much more going yeah. on. We're going to have a huge, gigantic snake coming out we today. we got a big snake, a very big, bright snake. Not bright smart, but bright in color. Oh, good. So now, what kind of snake is coming? Yeah. Uh, a large python, a, a Burmese large. python named Peaches. Peaches? Peaches now, the python. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you, if you want to go for good names, Reptilia is basically the place to go. <laughs> Animals with amazing names, <laughs> Reptilia. Okay, all right, here we go. My guy's you're, fast. You're, you're really no lively one today. Over here. All right, guys, we have lots more coming up. You don't want to go anywhere. This is my send-off week. Friday will be my last day on the zone, but it's not a big deal because we still have a nice big week coming up, and we have more reptiles coming today. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. The sweet sugar send off. This is my week, my last week here on the zone. It's such a crazy thing. Probably one of the hardest things mm -hmm. I've ever done. It's so sad to say goodbye to everybody and very sad to say goodbye to all of our guest friends, like all of your reptiles. Yeah. I've made friends with these guys. I've known this guy for what, like five years? Since he years? was like this big. Yeah, yeah. since he was, uh, yeah, Literally. tiny little toony sized turtle. Yes. But, uh, you know, it's been certainly some great times. And this is Mojo. The snapping turtle, who uh, certainly know. has enjoyed himself in the studio a few times. He's looking a little shocked. He, when we told him that, uh, <laughs> that you were leaving, this is what he did. And he hasn't changed his expression <laughs> since I told him you were leaving. He just, he can't believe it. It's just, he doesn't know what to say. Now, as you guys know, Josh is from Atelier, and he's one of our favorite guests that we've ever had here in the zone. Always bringing us some really cool animals, just the coolest amphibians and reptiles ever. Um, Mojo is going to be, we were talking a little bit earlier, Mojo is going to be like 200 and something, whatever pounds. Over 200 pounds. This, this turtle essentially is the largest freshwater turtle in the world when he gets full grown. His whole head can be the size of his entire body right now, and his shell will be up to about a meter long. Huge, huge turtle. And he's got quite a bite on him. He does. Watch and if you out. look in, uh, in his mouth, actually, he's got this little pink tongue, and he uses that to attract his prey. He is shocked cool. still, guys. <laughs> Come on yeah. back. We got more with Josh here in a bit. <laughs> Welcome what back to the zone, oh, ladies and gentlemen. It is a sweet sugar send off week. We're hanging out here with Josh from Reptilia, one of the best guests I think we've ever had oh, ever. of all time. That's Love too much, so guys. Much. I'm going to say the best okay. guest because wow. he's right here. <laughs> But and you bring in the best little and friends. I got the big animals Maybe not <laughs> exactly the big dangerous pythons. Yes, I don't want them to sick a mommy. Hi. Tell so us this about is this guy. And uh, she is a Burmese python from Southeast Asia. One of <laughs> five species of snake that can get to be more than twenty feet long. Huge. And this snake could potentially weigh three hundred pounds when she's full wow. grown. She's still just small, actually. To get to be twice as long as she is right now. And she's only a hundred and what? Like actually, just getting to a hundred pounds. Just getting to hundred under. pounds. Yeah. Jeez, Her head huge. is the same size as my um, Staffordshire Terrier's head was uh, when he was a puppy. Yeah. Gigantic head on this thing. Look at this. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is that this snake, uh, certainly you want to keep him away from uh, yeah. puppies. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hi. Is that the only thing? No, I, I <laughs> guess not. Yeah, I wouldn't no. think so. <laughs> so the, the snake being this bright, like, you know, they live in the rainforest where it's all dark. How do they survive like that? Actually, if she were born in the wild, she probably wouldn't survive to become an adult or to get this large because she'd have a hard time hiding from predators. Right. And so she probably wouldn't survive. But in captivity, you have two albino parents, so you can get all kinds of albino babies. But if you see one in the wild, that's rare, and you really should uh, enjoy it, I guess. But it's an unusual thing. Hmm. Enjoy it from a distance. Speaking yes. of the wild, you've been into the wild many a times. What's yes. the biggest adventure you would, you've ever been on? Well, one of my favorite places to visit is Costa Rica, mm. and uh, we go down there looking for uh, reptiles and amphibians, and I bring people with me to experience the rainforest environment. And we always, at least one or two nights, go out uh, caiman hunting, and a caiman is a, a type of alligator. Yeah. get to be about two meters long, about as long as I am tall, essentially. And uh, we go out at nighttime looking for the caimans. We hop out of a boat, grab on them, and hang on for dear life until they kind of settle down, then bring them into the boat and have a close look at them. And wow. Just like a weekend... 
It's oh yeah, alligator hunting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, what what better time could you spend uh, but out in the swamp exactly. in the middle of the night? <laughs> Josh, thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in. All right, guys, Thanks I back. expect to see you guys Wednesday night at my website ytv.com, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys got to say goodbye to me too, but stick around this week because there's lots more coming up.